A late goal from Jake Livermore kept alive the improbable prospect of a great escape for West Bromwich Albion and dealt a blow to Tottenham Hotspur's hopes of a top three finish. Darren Moore's Albion snatched victory in stoppage time to give themselves a chance of taking their survival fight into the final week of a season that had looked set to end in relegation many games from the end. They still need an improbable collection of results to remain in the Premier League after a horrid time under Tony Pulis and Alan Pardew. But five games unbeaten including three victories under Moore have rescued some pride and preserved the slimmest of chances of a dramatic finale. For Spurs, though, defeat leaves them behind Liverpool in the battle to avoid a Champions League qualifier next season. And it also kept open the possibility of London rivals Chelsea pipping them for fourth place. There was a tepid opening 20 minutes with more attention directed at events off the field than those on it. Tottenham supporters sang in support of defender Toby Alderweireld, who made just his second appearance since February amid his ongoing contract dispute with the club. Fans also showed their support for Pochettino, who has called his own future at Spurs into question in recent weeks. Meanwhile, an aeroplane chartered by Wolves fans circled the Hawthorns in the early moments mocking West Brom with a banner reading, Boing Boing Bye Bye. After a low-tempo start, the visitors almost led out of nowhere on 24 minutes when they worked play to the edge of the West Brom penalty area, from where Victor Wanyama tried a curling shot that was heading for the top corner before home goalkeeper Ben Foster tipped it over. The resulting corner was cleared to Danny Rose, whose long-range effort flew well wide. Spurs were gaining the upper hand steadily and Harry Kane had two chances to put them ahead just before the half-hour. First he darted behind the West Brom backline to collect a clever pass by Kieran Trippier, only for his cross shot to be saved unconventionally by Foster with his face. The visitors moved the resulting corner to Christian Eriksen, whose cross found Kane, but the England forward headed wide from 10 yards under pressure from Ahmed Hegazi. Yet West Brom rallied as halftime approached with all their way rolled forced to head over his own crossbar for safety from a J. Rodriguez cross before Hegazi went close, heading over from a Matt Phillips corner. West Brom should have led early in the second half when Phillips burst down the right and crossed for Solomon Rondon, but his low shot was blocked by Davinson Sanchez. Spurs might have broken the deadlock nine minutes into the second half when a fine, sweeping move ended with Del Alley helping the ball into the path of Eric Lamella, but he was denied bravely by Foster. Rose was fortunate to escape stiffer punishment with 25 minutes remaining after putting a hand in the face of Alan Young during an off-the-ball spat, although the dramatic fall from the West Brom defender ensured he emerged from the incident with little credit. Both players received yellow cards. With 16 minutes remaining, West Brom were scenting a possible victory and they were almost gifted the opening goal by Kane, whose poor touch from a corner forced goalkeeper Hugh Galoris into a fine save to prevent an embarrassing own goal and all their way world was then forced into a hasty clearance when Hegazy helped the resulting corner towards goal. There was a late surge of pressure from the hosts and it was rewarded at the death as Craig Dawson's header from a corner struck Livermore and appeared to creep in off Rose, although the Premier League officially awarded the goal to the West Brom man. Follow the independent sport on Instagram here, for all of the best images, videos and stories from around the sporting world. More about West Brom which Albion Tottenham Hotspur Premier League reuse content.